Greetings and welcome back to Warhammer Quest. Last time I fought with all the uh, low level ones, so I think I'll do another one of those. So I guess I might use the same team as last time. I'm thinking about perhaps taking the Archmage instead of the Bright Wizard for once, but I'm not entirely sure. No, let's, uh, let's just keep the same team as last time. I'm gonna take a quick look at the market. There doesn't seem to be all that much to buy. Perhaps I'll... No, it's too, uh, too expensive. We got some sell, uh, some junk to sell and... Oh, that's right, we got this thing from the last dungeon. So let's give this to the right wizard. Now he was plus uh, one power, which is excellent. Oh, and I guess I'll also use a bunch of consumables on many of my guys. So let's hand out a few new ones. I should have some to spare somewhere, I hope. Got a few here. Oh, wait, I'm gonna need him. Okay, I don't seem to have all that many. We got this healing potion. And we got another one right here. Alright, I guess that should be enough, hopefully. Alright, now what else can I give them? Yeah, he won't have all that much healing. Uh, maybe this scroll here and this thing. Yeah, I'm kind of lacking consumables at the moment. Hopefully everyone will be okay. <laughs> Yeah, let's just go with it and see what happens. Yeah, alright. We should be fine, hopefully. And let's go see what we got. This is for the Grey Wizard, which I don't need. I don't know what this will be, and I don't know what this will be. I'm gonna do one more of these low-level quests, I think, because... Last time it was already somewhat challenging enough, so I don't really want to push it and get everyone killed yet again. As I actually want the ogre to get to level 2. Alright, same team. Let's uh, go with it and see what happens. So, let's get everyone into position. Nothing here, and we do have a choice. I guess I'm gonna go forward. Since this has a gate here, and I'm thinking that behind this gate may be the uh, objective. I'm not entirely sure. It's probably just completely random, but you never know. Okay, still nothing. Oh, and we get an encounter. Uh, no, leave it alone. Now we got to end the turn yet again. And what do we got? Spiders, bats and rats. That's actually quite a few spiders, I must say. But we should actually be able to easily kill them with spells. So, let's see. Let's actually do the spells first. We got Cinder Blast. Oh yeah, awesome. And we got Shadow Bolt. 
Although he can't exactly shoot where I want him to shoot. Okay, now he can. Alright, that killed almost everything. Now I want the ogre to do some killing as well. Hoping for a dead blow here. No, nope, no such thing. Oh, he goes the long way. Okay, fair enough. And he missed. Alright, we still got a few melee attacks left. I guess I also have the shadow daggers left. Alright, that killed almost all of them. Okay, he missed. We got two more chances here. Okay, that didn't really go as planned. Uh, well... Oh well, screw it. I'm just hoping that we don't get another encounter. Okay, we didn't. We got some bone dust. And that's it. Let's move everyone into position for the next room. And now we got another... Oh no. The, uh, the smell. Minus one, minus one. Okay, that's not good. Luckily, it's only the two wizards, so they shouldn't actually be doing a lot of melee combat anyway. And of course, I have to end the turn because the encounter made it so that we don't have any winds of magic. And we got nothing here, and this seems to be the end. So, okay. Guess we gotta move the other way. to talk about at the moment just moving my people across and hoping that there's something to fight behind this door and what do we got spiders bats and rats okay so uh, let's start off with trying to hit something with the ogre got a dead blow another one and he missed okay fair enough Let's move you up here and take a swing at a few things. You missed. Okay, now let's start off with some magic, although he doesn't have enough magic power for a cinder blast. Well, he do. Ha yes, let's do a cinder blast anyway. He does have a power reserve, so that's good. Let's cast it on on all of these guys. Okay, that killed a whole bunch of them. Now we got Shadow Bolt that we can cast on these guys. Alright. Now we can take a shot at him. Okay, that worked. Now I could move him up here and take a stab at this rat. That actually worked. Excellent. Now he should be able to finish off the last threat. He did indeed. Excellent. We got six side dice. Okay. And let's move on to the next room. After this turn. And we got nothing. I actually shouldn't have uh, moved them all the way 
because if we get a, an encounter now, it's gonna spawn all around of us, which is not good. And we get this sort of encounter. No, leave it. And what do we got here? Same as usual, rats, bats and spiders. Finally getting some kills with the ogre now, which is a nice change. All right. Okay, that didn't work. Oh, I get two attacks. All right, forgot about that, but that didn't work either. Still, we got a bunch of spells. Got a cinder blast. That killed a whole bunch of them, and we still got shadow bolt. Okay, now we got two left. I'm gonna move the wizard up here and try and take a stab at the bat. He missed. Hmm, not good. Let's try and take out the spider with the wizard. Alright, that did work. Now is there anything we can do about this guy? Well, screw it. Let's just do it next turn. Hoping for no encounters. No, we didn't get any. Let's try and kill it with the ogre. Okay, good. And we got embroiled, embroidered, whatever it may be, quilt. I have no idea what it is. <laughs> and someone got hit, I think. Oh, yes, the mage. Let's actually see if he can heal his own wounds. Yes, he can. Not sure how many wounds it says proportional to his level but it doesn't say uh, to what ratio so if it's one wound per level or two wounds per level i'm not sure let's go take a look and we got nothing here And now we rescue the jewel crafter. Your warriors enter what appears to be some kind of ad hoc dungeon prison. They see at the back of the room a cage and within it someone motionless. The warriors are unable to determine the condition of the prisoner or if it is the jewel crafter. Before they can investigate, they are, they are surrounded by enemies. Wow, two gigantic spiders this time. That's gonna be interesting. So, lots of spiders. I don't like lots of spiders. Because they immobilize you. Well, not just immobilize, they uh, web you. Which means you can't do anything at all. Let's just take a swing with this guy. Alright, that worked. Not sure if that was a good idea, because now the gigantic spider will be able to take the place. But I gotta do something nonetheless. Let's move him up here. And take a few swings at things. That killed one of them. That missed. And that hit. Now the Shadow Warrior is going to be in some sort of trouble perhaps. Because this guy is going to be able to reach him. They have a movement of 6 I believe. Yes they have. So he'll be able to get an attack on the Shadow Warrior. So, let's see what we can do about that. Uh, 
But first of all, try and take this guy out. That worked, all right. Now, of course, he might be going after the wizard as well. So this could get interesting. We do have a shadow bolt. I could cast this on these guys. That killed one. And now we have five in magic power. I guess I'm gonna be... Uh, let's see. I'm gonna cast a fireball on this guy. That did a lot of damage again. That's good. I could actually cast another one. I might as well. And... Well, why not? That actually killed him. Excellent. So now only one giant spider remaining. Let's see what happens. And it's going for the Bright Wizard, which is not good. And it almost took him down. And yes, we got zombies and a vampire. Wow, okay. Uh, where? Whoa. Okay. That is one of the vampires that last time I had a lot of trouble with because it's seriously overpowered, I think. It's got like four attacks. <laughs> this isn't fun. I got low level characters, okay. Luckily he only brought regular zombies with him, but I have no idea at all how I will destroy this thing. I don't have enough characters that can do a lot of damage. So that's not good. That's not good at all. At least we killed these guys. That's a start. Now, of course, this guy will be blocked by these guys. So let's attempt to shoot him. Okay, that's a miss, and that's a hit. So far, so good, I suppose. He's down. Now we still got this gigantic spider as well, which is not good. I guess I kind of have to hope on a dead blow now. Great. And he missed that one. That's not good. Now I can move away the mage, which is actually good. Let's move him further. <laughs> yeah, he won't be out of range of the... of these guys, but it's pretty much all I can do. He's probably gonna raise more. Oh crap. He's got one power and... Ah crap, I hate Malediction of Nagash. I think I'm gonna die this dungeon. There's just no way I can kill that vampire. And it's got four attacks. It's... Uh, it's insane. Now what does this do again? Yes, minus strength, so uh, that's very bad. And he missed. That's uh, great. Okay. <laughs> I kind of want to keep these guys alive for now. Gotta focus on this guy. And he even heals when he attacks, which is also bad. Hmm. Alright. This is the sort of moments where you wish you actually had the witch hunter with you. So let's cast some fireballs. Seven damage. 
8 damage. Okay. Not too bad, but it's uh, at most just a dent. <laughs> oh dear. Now what does this thing do again? That's not very good. Trying to find a way to uh, do something. I guess all I can do is heal this guy. To the best of my abilities. Which is not that. <laughs> Let's use a... Scroll of protection perhaps. And a potion of healing. Not sure if that'll work. He might still die. You have a potion of battle here, which gives me one melee attack, which is not what I need. Let's use another healing mist. Okay, it's it's gonna have to do. It's pretty much all I can do. Though I suppose I could move the wizard up here and try and kill this guy. Okay, that didn't work. That actually was a bad idea because now he can attack the wizard. Yes, well, let's see what happens. He missed, great. He has one power and he healed some of his guys. That's not too bad. All right, that wasn't bad. We still have a chance. Not sure how much of a chance, but uh, a chance is a chance. <laughs> let's continue shooting at this dude. Okay. And the miss. And we killed him, that's good. Now we can throw one fireball. That's some more damage, okay. Now I really want to keep these guys alive, so I'm just gonna be casting healing mists. With my mage here. And I don't want to use Shadow Bolt on him because that might kill these guys. I gotta kill him from range. That's pretty much the only way. However, I can take a swing at this guy. That should soften him up. Okay, and I guess that's all I can do at the moment. Let's actually move you up here for now. Actually, no, let's keep you there. I just hope we don't get too many encounters. Otherwise, everyone might get killed. All right, none. Let's continue this. That's five damage. That's a miss. We can throw another fireball at him. That's nine. Slowly but surely we are killing it. <laughs> okay. I guess that'll be it for now. Uh, let's make him do a swing and hopefully not kill it. Okay. So far so good. He missed, that's great. Ah, Dead Shriek, I don't like Dead Shriek. Luckily it only disabled my Grey Wizard, which I don't really need this turn anyway. Okay, two misses. <laughs> Still got a Fireball. Eight damage. We're getting there, slowly. Uh, I don't really want to take another swing at the gigantic spider because we might actually kill it, which would be very bad for us at the moment. So, what else can I do? I don't think I can do anything. Although I suppose I... Actually, I could kill that thing. Got a scroll of fire, which unfortunately does AoE damage, which is not what I need. 
However, I could get a Orb of Might. But I don't think I needed it at the moment, since I can't kill it in one turn anyway. So let's continue. Now he hit the Ogre. And he missed. That's a... That's not good. That's not good at all. Luckily, the Necro is that way. But the Necro doesn't really concern me all that much. I need to kill this thing. So, let's see. That's a miss. And that's a hit. Okay. So, 17 left. Okay, and crap. We don't get any magic power because of the stupid encounter. So... I'm gonna move you here, and move you here. And move you here. Okay, let's see what happens. That one is down, okay, that's great. And that one is down. How did we do so much damage? That's odd. But never mind, I'll take it. <laughs> so, let's see. So we only got the Necromancer. Still, the Necromancer is a problem. Let's get some healing on him so that he isn't killed by the spider. I'm actually gonna need more healing. I'm gonna move him up here and do some healing on him as well. All right, there we go. Now let's see what happens. He got hit, okay. He got one power. Okay, no malediction of Nagash. Oh, and he got hit. Now, how about the crystal maze? Oh crap, I hate that. And he raised another warrior on this side. That's of no concern of mine. But we need to kill this thing. Four damage. And a miss. And let's continue healing up the ogre. Because if he's if he dies, uh, well we all die probably. Alright, that's good. Let's end the turn. We will be getting the wizard back. He healed a bit, that's no problem. And what he's doing? Dead Shriek. Everyone resisted, excellent. And he's uh, summoning a few more skeletons. Oh crap. Okay, now we're dead. Crypt zombies. Yep, we're dead. <laughs> Oh, crap. As you can see, Crypt Zombies have 20 hit points. So, yeah. We're dead. And, yeah, and we got no magic power either because of the encounter, which I think is a very, very, very bad game mechanic. Alright, so what else can we do? Shoot things, I suppose. And figure out how exactly we will die. <laughs> okay. So, who's gonna die first? I think the... The Bright Wizard will. We actually did damage to that thing. Pretty much that. <laughs> yeah. 
the encounters in this game are really out of control sometimes. I got all low level characters, there was no need for crypt zombies at all. Regular zombies I would have agreed upon, but crypt zombies and a vampire, hell no. So he's dead. Well, he's down, but uh, he's gonna be dead any second. Next turn. That also means we will be losing our level 4 bright... Uh, grey wizard. Let's try and revive him. Alright, plus one wound is better than nothing. That yeah, one is dead. That one is far from dead. Okay, now we got four magic power. One damage. Yeah, that's gonna help. And there's really nothing I can do about all this. Now he's down again. Now he's got Dead Shriek. Wonderful. And he's gonna raise some more stuff. Oh no, he's gonna make my Bright Wizard disappear. Well, in a way, that's actually good since that'll keep him alive. At least for a round. <laughs> yeah, crypt zombies are totally insane. Too much hit points for what they are. They certainly shouldn't, shouldn't show up in these early dungeons at all. So, what do we do now? I don't know. Uh, one of these guys is gonna die. Actually, both of them are gonna die. Wonderful. And he can't do anything. Okay, so uh, end turn. Do that. <laughs> and that's weak. So I can't even do anything next turn at all. And yeah, of course, throw some more warriors and necromancers at me. Sure. As if I had a, as if I still had a chance. Oh boy. As I think I mentioned before, the encounters are totally out of control in the game. It's uh, insane. And yeah, you can't also leave any dungeons while you're in a fight, so that's not an option. All I can do is wait until all my guys are dead. Which will happen any time now. <laughs> I'm surprised it's still going. Sure. What's with all the dead freaks? Kind of annoying since when my guys are in a dead shriek, they don't seem to attack. Which is bad because that way this can go on and on. Especially, it doesn't help if they do that. So let's continue. 
Eventually they're gonna kill me, I hope. Ah, uh, now he's dead. It's about time, I'd say. And he's down. Okay, finally. We are defeated, yes indeed. Alright, let's go back to town. That's just uh, very bad. And let's bring these guys back from the dead. Whenever you do that, they uh, change their name. So it's technically not the same character, but... Well, actually it is, but... Well, you know. Anyway, I guess I'll be ending the episode here. And I'm also thinking I'll be taking some sort of break from this game because it's... Uh, it's just insane. The amount of encounters that keep piling on. And I suppose the game would be a lot easier if I stuck to... Perhaps uh, four or maybe six characters. And yeah, and obviously some characters are a lot better than some others. For example, the Witch Hunter is uh, totally insane. He's uh, already competent against regular enemies, but when you throw an undead, he pretty much totally obliterates them. Which means that if I had him last dungeon, we probably would have breezed through it without any problems. Uh, what else we got? Yeah, the Marauder isn't too bad. The Ogre is uh, terrible. <laughs> at least at level 1. Not sure. The uh, Grey Wizard is too... Well, you pretty much need him on uh, every team. Because he's the only one that can heal properly. Uh, the Iron Breaker seems to be fine. Has a decent survivability. The Shadow Warrior is terrible. <laughs> Not sure about him, he's only mostly defensive. Well, I think he's okay, but uh, very squishy. The Troll Slayer is decent, but also pretty squishy. The Way Watcher seems not that good. So yeah, there's obvious uh, good characters and bad characters in here. And add in the fact that the whole encounter mechanic is totally out of control. There should be at least some limit to it. So, yeah, I think I'll be taking a break from the game. Don't know how long. And I'm not even sure what I'll be... What I'll be playing in the meantime. I'll figure it out eventually, but... Uh, yeah, that'll be it for this episode. So, uh, hopefully... <laughs> I'd say you enjoyed it, but... Uh, well, I didn't really, but... Either way, thank you for watching and see you next time.